Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by. Hey, call me Kane. It's a pleasure being with you here today. We're just kind of warming up real quick before we uh, head on out and uh, head to our last, well, I guess, last cabin here on this road. Um, <clears throat> so, we need caribou, is basically what it boils down to. Uh, we need to go into the icy cave. However, we have not checked out this, uh, this truck yet to see if there's any supplies. Hopefully there is some supplies or anything at all. And as I'm saying that, describing that to you, I just found out there is, oh, there is something. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. Sad news. that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. All right. So, nothing in the truck. Let's go ahead and flip this baby around and, uh, yeah, let's take it to the next cabin on our beaten path here. So, we'll get back to the main road here, which should be just a little bit down here, right? Yeah, because this is the left turn right here. Oh, my Atlanta. Terrible driving, terrible driving. I'll, I'll, I'll be straight with you on that. All right, nice. So yeah, we need to look for some white cherry wine. I think I, you know, I keep saying it and I keep being unsure about it. But oh my god, you think? Let's take a look real quick. Holy crap! Painkillers, hardware, wood. Oh, dude, this was a great idea. Let's go ahead and uh, deposit some stuff here. Let's get rid of the logs. Right? Log. Beer bottle. Empty gas can. Uh, we'll hold on to the duct tape, hold on to the gun. Hardware. You know, we'll throw in the hardware. We don't need the hard hardware. Quite yet. Empty bottle. We'll throw in one. We'll keep one because we know we're going to need one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and look at some more stuff here. I mean, honestly, let's just take the wood, right? You never know if we're going to be stuck somewhere. Okay, there's foot tracks. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> um, okay, so we can start a fire here, which is cool, I guess. Do we need to start a fire right here, right now? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Alright, so what the hell? Why did... I didn't even do that. I did not make... I, yeah. <laughs> I did not look up. That was the game itself. I'm going to drop off some more logs... And we'll drop off one more bottle, and uh, yeah, we'll get on our way here. Our truck is looking mighty full right now. Let's go ahead and get in. Step out. No, thank you. All right, let's continue. I hate I hate when it does this. It, it, it makes me nervous. I feel like it's gonna like jolt me into a tree or something. But it's the game, it's fine. You know, it is what it is. So far I'm having a blast. Definitely very uh, intriguing. Let's go ahead and check this out over here. Oh wow, we got a few houses going on here, don't we? Oh, this is like a, what the hell? Stop. It's like a junkyard type thing? I don't know how I'm gonna be able to turn back around here. There's the ice path right there, or the ice rocks still. Um, let's check the mailbox. Always check the mailbox. Ooh, Amazon package. Letter from Lamoth. Dear Lamoth, here is a spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model being very popular has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage pot bin and fizz and shabagua. Sincerely. Gaton Patovin. Dude, I'm not French. I, I'm assuming this is French, right? Um, 
Let's take the spark plug. For sure, absolutely. A lot of different things going on here. Oh. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land. I just realized. Dog hold the sack. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get into this uh, this place here. Go ahead and break the locks. Okay. There's more wolf tracks. I'm assuming it's up up in there. We are might be getting cold here soon. Yep. A moth's garage. Uh, more ice over there. Uh, first things first is really the music starting to starting to bump. So what I'm gonna do immediately is grab the hatchet. Yeah, yeah. Grab the hatchet, and we need to get warm. Hamilton. Something wet, you know, weather. Clear the building first. Building is secured. All right, let's go ahead and warm up real quick. I need a log, Jesus Christ. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Wow. Okay, so wait. I, I think so because one of those pins is an icy cave this one way down here who knows what that is we might have to travel all the way down there oh man police letter follow up on a complaint Roswell at Hemipak same story large deserts conducive to extravagant follies dear Mr. Uh, Lamoth I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. Following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible regarding future potential complaints. Let it be known that the Judicial District of Abideba, Adabi, Adabi, does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean, clerk of Quebec. So there was something going on way before. When one isn't enough, why not buy eight? Ten po okay, cool. We've got some more film for our camera. Fantastic. Parts manual. Manufacturer manual page one. I don't know if we really need to see all this right now, do we? Body, steering. Maybe later, maybe? I'm not sure. What is Weird this? stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. Yeah, that is, that is the war. To play telepath? <laughs> to protect against nuclear waves? That's why a man might have been losing his marble a little bit. Grab a hammer. I guess a hammer will do something. Still on the look for some uh, possible white cherry or whatever wine. I'm just going to start calling it wine. Cheap wine doesn't taste better even if it changes in color and size. That's very true. <laughs> Apparently Lamoth is, uh, is a rock collector. Okay, I am getting cold though. I forgot we didn't start the start the the fire in here. So let's go ahead and uh, walk outside, see if there's any uh, any logs of some sort. Ah, here we go. Good. So the music here is a little strange. It seems like the music's only outside. Go ahead and warm up real quick. Alrighty. Fantastic. Okay. Step outside. There's a lot to look out outside here. Ah, snowmobile ski. Oh, are we gonna be able to buy a, or buy build a ski? More fire starter, fantastic. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Okay, cool. What is this? Lawnmower thing? Hand, hand mower? 
Mowing the lawn isn't necessary at this time? Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, so we have like a snowmobile, rather. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Right, okay. So the first thing we need is a bench. Look at us go up here, though. What would be... Oh. Build a bridge. Oh, okay, cool. We have that. Yeah, yeah. So we have stuff in our truck that will help us with that. I think it was like scavenged parts or some, some rather. Oh, here's... What is this? It's a track. Maybe I could put the track on? Nice. Alright, so I guess the track is on, or eventually on. Let's go ahead and grab the stuff we need out of our truck real quick. I really wish the truck was here, inside the compound. Oh, headlight, nice. A little nervous about opening that, I'll be real with you. Yeah, let's go ahead and, oh, maybe trunk, yep. Always check the trunk. Snowball, snow, snowball, snow, snowmobile. <laughs> Ski. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff. Yeah, hardware. Doctor is good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Lamotte. Lamotte. Okay, I was just grabbing some things out of the truck, narrator. You don't need to yell at me and tell me I'm a bad, uh, bad, bad man that doesn't know how to search things. Like, give me a break. Maybe in the toilet? Nope, nothing in the toilet. Alright. Let's go ahead and build this apparent bridge. Dude, Carl, great job. <laughs> Alright. Again, don't really know what was the point of building a bridge here. Other than there's like a hole. Maybe I'll do something with a tool there? Let's see. Let's pull out a hammer. No. Let's pull out a crowbar. Okay, no. Let's just put everything away. Okay, that's probably for later dues. Okay, okay. Let's try to see what we can do with this, um... Let's actually go get warm. Let's see what we can do with this, uh... Snowmobile. Oh my god. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person is in for a long wait. <laughs> Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. You're absolutely correct. All right, so now that we've warmed up a little bit, let's see what we can find out here in the in the front yard. Doesn't mean oh, <clears throat> just a log. Doesn't look like a lot's going on here. What is that? Is that beams? Yeah, those are like kind of beams. Um, there was something over here we didn't check. There is a trash can right there, too, that sparks my interest. Why is that trash can out of the way, you know, kind of tucked away? Because there's duct tape, that's why. Alright, we'll go back up here. Nope. This must be the bed. Or the bench. Yep, there's the bench. Uh, what is this? Colors are always welcome in a monochrome world. Ah. It's very nice. <laughs> Alright, so we have the bench. Let's go ahead and place this bad boy down. 
place a light and head bar. So the hand or the hand bars. Hand bars should be probably inside. Let's place the skis. Yeah, the hand bar is probably inside the shed. All right, so here we go. Here comes the scary part. Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? I'll be real. One, it's dark as hell. Two, I hate that high-pitched noise. Okay, this is the man. Oh my god. Is this- oh my god, it looks like a UFO saucer thing, right? Definitely someone trying to get to him. Cold starts coming in. Terrible. Probably can't see anything. I'm, I can't hardly even see anything. Wait, bucket? I threw something in the bucket. Okay. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. No, Carl does know how to reach it because he built a bridge on the roof and the roof and all that. Look. Wait. Yeah, 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 he was building a saucer. The saucer looked like it was, like, more built than this. I think it was, and maybe someone destroyed it. Um, too many orange juice bottles? You can never have enough orange juice. What is this? Unused steel trap, do not touch. I... <laughs> there is a letter on the fridge here. I love the old school fridge. The week of October 5th, thought that was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I'm expecting a nice spark plug around the week of October 5th. It's already paid for. Okay, yeah, we have that. Open up the fridge. Green milk for little green men. And now you're mocking him. The Repair shape the spaceship. of the machine, almost straight out of Star Trek, was out of the ordinary to Star say the Trek. Least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. Why did they reference Star Trek? That was funny. Okay, we've activated the spaceship. <laughs> Little it was an indisputable fact that oh machines God. like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Carl, if you were going, if I was going through this, my man, don't, that sounded so creepy. If I was going through this, I would not, I'd just go home. I would not be hanging around here. Like, you can't be fascinated this much. What the heck? Like, I don't know, man. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. <laughs> Something isn't right when your bed is in your garage. No kidding. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. He loved the landing of the moon, you know. 
They love that, apparently. Okay, so I think we're good in here for the most part. Um, now we know what's in the bucket and we can go up and get whatever is in the bucket. However, there's no wine here. We did not find any wine. That saddens me a little bit, because that means I think I have to drive back to the to the doctor's clinic. I did not find any handlebars either. Crazy thought. Paul had no idea how to interpret oh, a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing, being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton, seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. Crazy thought. I saw something in the woods on the solemn day of October 6, 1970. No man should ever see. The aliens are here. They are roaming in our woods. They will invade us all from here down to sunny Mexico. They are massive, twice as tall as man. They are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure the, fa I'm sure the fact that I saw them means they broke their military code. They are after me. If you're reading this, it's too late. I've already been taken to the planet Eloium to be experimented on upon a lab. They are punishing me for not doing anything when I witnessed that murder yesterday. When I saw William Hamilton kill someone, farewell. Okay. It's good to know, I guess. We're still at the point where it's like, hey, we need some uh, some handlebars on this thing, right? Yeah, we need handlebars. So where are we going to find some handlebars? I was hoping maybe in the... Um, I was hoping maybe in the garage. That didn't seem to be the case. I don't think there's any on the side of the house here, right? No, nothing on the side... Yeah, nothing on the side of the house. Let's go ahead and warm up a little bit. We haven't warmed up in a bit. There we go. Warm up. I'll take a nice quick glance throughout the house, too, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Stealing road sign is, is prohibited by law. Okay. Yeah, so... Oh, what is this? Okay, I opened up the duffel bag. And didn't do anything. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To Why protect would it... against nuclear waves? Why would it let me open that? That's a little strange. Now... There is the pinpoint, right? The pinpoint, which is right there, which is entirely south. So if you pull up the map here. Okay, so it actually has a star next to it. Secret project. I think that's where we have to go. And, but I think that's what the, um, the snowmobile is for, though. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the snowmobile is for that exact... Uh, exact thing. Handlebars. So where would we find handlebars? Got more wood there. Got some pots here. Let's go up here. We haven't been up here yet. Carl still wasn't done with the mechanics place. Okay. Let's not get too freaked out here. There is, you know, this. <laughs> see where this takes us. Okay. Takes us, it basically takes us to these tracks. What we'll do is we'll follow these tracks and see exactly where they take us. 
I wonder if this is like the secret project um, path this way here. Okay, there is a big wolf ahead of us. I don't know if you guys see that. So hatchet is must required. Oh, this this doesn't. Yeah, this the game's loading. This means trouble, right? If I go this way, I'm following the tracks, but I kind of blind to the wolf. Okay, I can't go that way anyways. Okay, that's fine. It's just me and you, buddy. Oh, Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. I had no choice. I had no choice. Now... You can already tell that, that that was very predetermined. Like, I already knew that I was swinging as soon as I got close to him. I didn't care if he ran away and I would miss. Uh, but, yeah, that was definitely uh, not okay. So, let me just check the map to see if this is the actual thing thing here. Yeah, so this is the actual secret project here. Okie dokie. Here's where the ice led us here. Looks like there's a grave here that's been dug up, which scares the crap out of me in the great the tracks lead right into it that's fantastic the blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt someone had been buried here someone so, whose life had been taken with blunt force where was the body now why had it been buried only to be dug up later Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog So one thing concerns me. We don't have any logs. I want to start a fire. I wonder if we can take logs from trees. What is this? We need logs. So let's continue on through here. I should always keep a log on me at all times. If I'm ever traveling this far away from my car. Looks like there's a, like, a pro secret project. Okay, so what? It's like a satellite dish? That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. Was quite awkwardly placed. It was, or there it is. There to be a lever to control it. Maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Uh... How would we reach that, Carl? Carl? We're getting cold. All right, so we need we need to head back, right? Let's head back and let's go ahead and grab uh, some. It was so cold already. Carl did not feel his wood. toes anymore. So we can make this fireplace. Um, I will pull out the hatchet and I will give it a shot to see if we can get like wood from a tree. That would be kind of cool if we can cut down a tree, but I, you know, there's some doubt in me on that kind of logic in this game. We'll, we'll give it. We'll give it a try, though. We'll give it a try right here. Yeah, didn't think so. All right. So now that we have fire next to this uh, this place here, we gotta figure out how to get to the lever. And I don't know if we have the right tools to get the lever. So this is gonna be very tricky. I will check, take a look over here to see, um, you know, if there was anything I was missing or or a path or or I don't even know. Um, I mean, one. There is a path. <laughs> one thing I was about to say was like, uh, like grab the chains from my, from my tires and, uh, and kind of throw it at the lever and maybe hope to get it. But this is better. <laughs> this is a lot better. All right, good. So now that that's been taken care of, I won't... Oh, there's a bicycle. So I won't proceed quite yet. What I'll do is I'll backtrack to see what's in this shed type thing going on. I mean, is it a shed? 
think so. It's something. The electric oh, terminals God. appear to be linked together, but for what purpose? Oh my God! There's a lot going on here. Okay. Um. So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. Okay, so we need to get in there. Blue wire goes into there. Blue wire. Goes into there? What happens if we turn this? Carl rejoiced at the unexpected source of heat, but not as much as his freezing hands. Ah. Wait, 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 what did I say? Turn the wheel. Oh, I see. Okay, so this has blue wire. That blue wire has power. Positive, okay, positive and negatives. Positive. Maybe positive on all the blues? What do you think? Okay, so all the blues have positive. Or maybe I go, I go blue, blue with positive. Blue negative, blue positive, blue positive, and this one negative? Now try it. Oh, okay, I see. So these wires go, that wire goes positive. So that wire is here. Right? Yeah, so this one's positive. This one is negative. Uh, okay, so this one should be negative. Okay, so it should be good now. Right? Where does this blue go to? Then that goes to the generator. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. But that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more Kona. And I will see you when I figure out how to open this door.